Hey, what's up YouTube? So Jeff Robbins here, as promised, back with a video on how to check the valve lift of your 206 engine. So simply all we'll be doing is we'll be getting a dial indicator and we'll be lining it up in line with our valve stem and just measuring how much travel we get as that valve opens. So pretty simple check. I like the digital dial indicator type. Some people hate on those and they say that you should only use, use this type here, but um, everyone's definitely entitled to their own opinion. One thing I'll note real quick is I've wound the engine over to top dead center of the compression stroke and I've set my valve lash to zero on both. Um, that's some of the, the guidance I was given. So engines at top dead center, both uh, the valves have been set to zero lash and I simply just finger tighted both of those um, to get that done so over here you can see I've got a dial indicator mounted up to my press and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the engine up underneath there and we can run this check so let me reposition the camera and we'll measure our valve lift Okay, so we've got the engine tucked up underneath the dial indicator and I've got it on the intake valve currently. So we need to get the dial indicator zeroed before we start to try to take this measurement. And what I'm finding is that the intake valve is closed, at least as far as it can be, as soon as the exhaust valve starts to open. So somewhere right in here is where we want to zero out our dial indicator hopefully you can see the exhaust valve moving um, so let's go ahead and zero out our indicator right here just like that and we'll start turning the motor over so that we can get to the point where our intake valve starts to open okay so there we go we can see our intake valve starting to open and we're gonna look for the point where that number climbs the highest and then it starts backing off for us and that's gonna tell us what our valve lift is. So there's 0.241 inches right there. Looks like 0.243 was the highest I saw right there almost a quarter of an inch 0.243 inches on the intake and then obviously as we turn it over we'll come back to the zero point so let's do the same thing for the exhaust so let me just scoot the engine over and we'll put it on the exhaust valve Now let's find our zero point for the exhaust. Down. So the intake's starting to open. Looks like about right there. Looks like a pretty good zero point. So let's go ahead and zero our gauge right here. And our exhaust is opening. right there so I saw 0.233 inches was the, the furthest I saw 0 0.32 0 0.33 right there so that is our exhaust lift 0.233 inches obviously like I mentioned in the last video this isn't a check that I'm very familiar with so I'm not sure exactly where these need to be I was told that they should both read over 
1.250 inches. So apparently this, this engine has a little less valve lift than is ideal, but it didn't seem to affect the power too much on the dyno. So yeah, that is how we check our intake and exhaust valve lift. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Pretty simple check on how to measure your intake and exhaust valve lift. If someone has a brand new 206 engine straight out the box and they're willing to take the measurements on their engine and post those in the comments, that would be very much appreciated. But until then, we'll see you in the next video.